Hi, I'm Sarah. My husband John, son Connor, myself and our two dogs, Bella and Watson, are exploring Alberta in our RV and we want to share our experiences with you. When most people are planning their camping trips, their mind goes straight to the provincial and national parks they want to visit. In fact, a lot of people know the data they can make their reservation to get a site. What you don't consider is the amazing wealth of opportunities we have in private and municipal campgrounds. Many of them have fantastic amenities and a dedication to the RV camping experience that you won't find at a provincial campground. This weekend we're visiting Old MacDonald Resort and Campground and we're lucky enough to chat with Jean to learn a little bit more about what makes it special here. We started cutting the trees in 1982 uh -huh. because we had some beach there and we knew that someday it was going to be something. And then in 86, we decided we needed to have a name, so we called it our surname, Old McDonald, yeah. and opened up with 25 sites in 1986. And then from then on, we just kept building what we could as we could. We have 425 sites yeah. and nine group areas. If you have kids, this campground is for you. There are so many things to do at Old McDonald, starting with the beautiful beach of Buffalo Lake. The sand is soft and stretches a long way along the shore, and the swimmable lake is huge. The water is shallow for quite a ways, allowing kids of all ages to safely play in it, but deep enough for activities such as paddle boarding or boating further out. If you find yourself getting too hot, you can always walk over to the ice cream shop that's conveniently located on the edge of the main beach. There are a number of small and large playgrounds that can be found all throughout the grounds, so no matter where your site is located, you're never far from somewhere for your kids to run and play. Central to the campground is a sort of town square where there are a number of unique features and activities such as a mechanical merry-go-round that operates at certain hours of the day, pedal go-karts that you can rent by the half hour, an animal viewing area where you can see pigs, lambs and calves, an antique schoolhouse that has been converted into a movie theater that operates three nights a week. Not one, but two trains that will drive through the campground, a smaller children only train and a larger train for both adults and kids. A twice weekly farmer's market where you can find all sorts of clothes, jewelry and assorted knickknacks. While we were there, we even came across a clown making balloon animals for children. There is a store and cafe called Grandma's Kitchen where you can buy snacks or a meal or maybe pick up something that you forgot to pack. We stopped for a snack one afternoon, Connor got some ice cream and John and I tried their homemade cinnamon buns, which were delicious by the way, we highly recommend. If it isn't beach weather, they also have an indoor arcade and mini golf course located inside their very own museum. We've been to Old McDonald's a few times over the years, but this was the first time we went inside and man, have we been missing out. They have arcade games, pinball machines, pool and air hockey tables, and a nine hole mini golf course. Then there's the museum itself, which houses a truly impressive collection of antiques, clothes, vehicles, and furniture. It rivals any collection you'll find in a municipal museum and it's free to explore. We do have quite a few things to do and we knew that if we did had things for the kids to do, which is mainly what our focus is, is keeping things for the, keeping the kids happy. Yeah. And then we knew if we could do that, then the parents would be happy because the kids are happy. And we've got a, a name for ourselves that people let their kids roam and they feel safe here. Yeah. It, it's their place. They can just about do what they want and parents are really amazingly happy about that. We can definitely attest to the safe and comfortable atmosphere at McDonald. There were always dozens of children bike riding along the many paved or gravel paths throughout the site, playing in the playgrounds and open parks. Connor was often out with a group of friends playing kickball, soccer, or any other game they could organize. The campground is large but well laid out, with signage everywhere to make sure you can find what you're looking for. Dogs are very welcome as long as they're under control, and our newest puppy Watson made many friends throughout our weekend there. Dogs are not permitted at the main beach, but you can bring them to an area just beside the main beach to play in the water near the boat launch. As if all this isn't enough, they always finish off the summer camping season with a country music festival, bringing in about a dozen bands to perform. We have a music festival the second weekend of September. Yeah. It's always the weekend after the long weekend, and we bring in country bands and, and have we look after kids all summer, basically, and then we have an adult party. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> and then we close. <laughs> when we started cutting the trees, we cut them all those first few years, and I think I envisioned that this could happen. Yeah. I don't think I envisioned that it would happen quite as quickly as it did. We built and they came, and everybody that comes here is 
coming for a happy reason and they're smiling. So it's very rewarding and it's something that makes me get up in the morning every morning and want to get down here. Honestly, there's so much more we could talk about from the extensive solar panels that help the campground go green to the ladybug recycling program that means you'll never be more than 20 feet from a recycle bin, but I think you get the idea. We've been to Old McDonald's Resort a number of times over the years and there are still things we haven't had time to get to. There's no doubt in my mind that we'll be back in the future and if you haven't been yet, do yourself a favor and book a site there today. Happy camping!